Damn. So many of you were probably here last year when we unveiled the seventh generation of an American icon, and in the past year, the accolades have just kept rolling in. Automobile Magazine's Car of the Year, Road and Tracks Performance Car of the Year, one of Car and Driver's 10 Best. It just doesn't stop. And that's because the Corvette Stingray offers performance on car or surpassing vehicles and triple its price. For some of you, 460 horsepower just wasn't enough. And for you, we've brought back something very special this year. Something our Executive Vice President of Global Product Development, Mark Royce, likes to refer to as Big Nasty, the 2015 Corvette Z06. So how do we take our most powerful standard Corvette ever and make it even neater? Well, we develop it in conjunction with our race spec C7R, which we also debuted here earlier this week. Never in the history of Corvette racing have a production and race version shared so much in common. As a matter of fact, the frame used on the new C7R is virtually unchanged from the Stingray frame that you see on display over there, which we introduced last year. That all aluminum frame that we make in-house in our Bowling Green, Kentucky facility now. That frame is 60% stiffer than the outgoing frame. And what it's allowed us to do on the production version of the Z06 is for the first time ever offer a removable hard top. It weighs just 16 pounds, made out of carbon fiber. It snaps securely right in the back. But that stiffness in the frame has allowed us to provide that. And even with the top removed, the Z06 is 20% stiffer than the last generation Z06. And with that top in place, 60% stiffer. So you really get the best of both worlds with regard to open air driving and that added stiffness that you would expect for performance. But of course, the real story is under the hood. What did we do? Well, we took the LT1 that we introduced last year and we upped the ante by supercharging it to a mind-blowing 625 plus horsepower and 635 plus compute torque. And the reason I say plus is because those numbers haven't been finalized and we like to be a little conservative here at General Motors. So we know for a fact we'll achieve at least those figures. But you'll have to wait until later in the year to see what ends up actually developing. Perhaps it may even end up being a bit more. But the new LT4 retains technologies that we debuted last year on the LT1. Direct injection, continuously variable valve timing, and active fuel management will all be standard and they'll come together to give us impressive fuel economy for the kind of horsepower this vehicle will be putting out. Now you can get the LT4 made to the standard 7-speed Tremec manual transmission with active rev matching. And that active rev matching can anticipate your gear selection and maintain the throttle as you shift through. Whether you're up or down shifting, you don't have to heel toe it, you look like an absolute pro. You can also deactivate that for those of you who would choose not to use that technology, of course. But even more exciting, for the first time ever, we've introduced an automatic on the Z06, an eight-speed automatic transmission developed in-house that will be absolutely track-capable with shift times rivaling those of the Porsche 911's PDK. Now when you get inside, the redesign is going to continue on Stingray. We've got them on a new suede flat bottom steering wheel. The same two seating options as are on the Z06 are as what's available on the Stingray, I should say. You've got the standard, uh, the standard GT seat that you'll see out on the floor, and then the available competition seat is what's featured here. You can see them both on the Stingrays that we have out front, though. The Torch Red model features that competition seat if you guys want to feel what it's like. It's got these here side posters to keep you centered and accommodations for a racing harness. And then very exciting inside, from within the MyLink infotainment system, both on Stingray and Z06 in 2015, you'll be able to opt for our groundbreaking brand new performance data system. What it can actually do is overlay your lap times and to measure your steering inputs, your throttle responses. You can share those measurements on social media and whatnot. It'll film via the camera pointing out frontwards so you can actually see your track times next to the, the visual depiction of the track that you were driving on and become even better and faster in your driving. That's what it's all about here at General Motors, giving you the technologies you need to take full advantage of the amazing vehicles that we built. So the exterior of Z06, well it's wider. The fenders up front are two inches wider and just over three inches wider in the back and that accommodates wider and larger wheels and tires. Standard 